need to get my phone. <laughs> Are we live? We're live. Ish, hopefully. Recording? Yes. Okay. Computer work? Yes. She cheesed the computer last night. Is it? <laughs> Big time cheese. <laughs> Whole thing of what kind of cheese? It was, okay. You know like the jarred cheese that you get that's like Tostitos or just like, you know, the junky queso. Oh. So I was like, I'm going to make like, you know, I had all my little dips sitting out and I was listening back to the podcast because you know, like when we edit it or whatever, like we never really edit it, but I just always like to listen back through it just to make sure, okay, whatever. Just to make sure, so you know. So this was like my, my new, new-ish MacBook Pro it was like sitting on the counter like this, like away from me. Oh, I have this God. jar and it's like really tight and I was like, Ugh. And then it finally, the lid flew off, lid stays in my hand, the jar literally, and it's like one of those big glass jars, rainbows out like a good, I would say like two and a half feet. Lands. The jar yeah. lands like this, like boof, and it was like bleh, bleh. It was just like perfectly like spread on the keys. And you tried to wipe, I was downstairs. What do you do? Like, you tried to wipe it off and I can't say <laughs> it was just, just a, like, a, oh, like spread All the way across. <sighs> But this morning, yeah, and so Brad like meticulously is like trying to get the cheese out. Like how would you? Well, you can still see how? some of it in the mouth. Just you can't, you can't worry about it. It's gonna be <clears> there <throat> till the end of time, unless if we like take this apart. But yes, yeah, so this morning, I'm like, it's not a big deal. Like half the keys wouldn't even work. They're working now, maybe. Like, we just like forced it. <laughs> Hello, oh. you guys. Welcome. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, Brad. How long has it been? We were sitting on the couch in there. That was. We're not sitting on the couch literally here. Literally like three years ago. There's got to be. We we had to have done one. Two years ago, maybe. I can't. I don't know. It's been a while. It's Tell been a me long maybe time. why it's been a while. Well, I don't know the answer to that question. The podcast. Oh yeah, well I've been on the podcast. Obviously, yeah, we I've been would, on the podcast. You know, every now and then, like over. I, I guess that is the answer. Yeah, like he would be on here, here and there, but then the last. How long has it been now? A like year and a half. We've been doing the podcast a half, yeah. every week. 77 and we just did. I see people ask a lot of questions, okay? And you might be like tiptoeing into it like, I want to know about Brand's job or tell me about your home oh. or like investments. And I'm like, you don't even realize like we have gone into like painful detail, not painful, but like uncomfortable detail. No, no, no. You, you know what I mean. But like if you're ever curious, he's so like you hear that? shape about this computer. That, those two now work. Well, I had, ew, Crust. ew, it like cracked out of, this is so gross. Right. Okay. But yeah, I've been on the podcast for 77 episodes, 77 weeks now, which is I crazy. I feel like I've been on your podcast. I'm not going to say that. Brad is like She really, gets a little nuts. Brad is really, really like um, taken over this pot. Like it's his thing and I mean it's our The technical thing. side. Sure. Yeah. But are we over to the, hold on, let me move this know. over a little. Doesn't look like it. I can't really. I can't see. Yeah. Okay, there we fine. go. So guys. I was like, it was this was actually Brad's idea. He was like, you know, I haven't been on there in a while. It's Christmas because I didn't know if I was gonna do a video this week. I usually skip Christmas week video, but I was like, we have had so many videos. Three, we we also COVID and the vacation. Yeah, we've been. It's been a bit. It's been a rough month. Two months. Yeah, really. and people are asking like, what do you guys have? We described it on the podcast. <clears throat> we fully got COVID from Disney all of World. us. It's terrible. Of course, we left. Don't ever want to go to Disney World again. You know, we didn't stay there. We left immediately. Like, you know, even but... before we got sick, like, I had this little dull sore throat I woke up with. Olivia was kind of just like, I looked at her that morning. I was like, I mm -hmm. get the hell out of here. Um, okay, whatever. Right. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. I was like, so depressing. We're better. So, well, yeah, kind of. Okay. It's hanging on a little bit, Do but guys, we're good. But I just, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about COVID. Okay. okay. So, a lot of you guys ask questions on the video. Mm-hmm. And here's what, again, if you've listened to all of our podcast episodes, I get, we just, you guys, if you're ever curious about anything, it is all there and things that you don't probably even want to know. Okay. But For sure. it's fun. We've enjoyed it so much. If you want to join us over there, I mean, most of you guys, I feel, have yeah, already yeah, kind of sure. done that. But I just, you know, I thought it'd be fun to be here with Brad and not that I never wanted the podcast to be like taking away anything from here. It's right. truly an addition. Brad was never on here a ton, and even when he was, we didn't share all that. Three times, four times. In fifteen years, you've I been think on so. here a lot more. Maybe than five. That. Call it five. Whatever. Here he In is. Fifteen years. Here he is, guys. But I thought we'd have, yeah answer some questions, and a lot of these might be a little different than ones we've even done on the podcast. Okay, so we have not gone over these questions ahead of time. Okay, I'll read them too. <laughs> How do each of you deal with relatives or friends, unsolicited, passive aggressive opinions or questions of you? That you feel is offensive? 
I was a guy, I think guys all have the same answer. You bust balls all the time, and I, every time someone takes something that there might be serious, but it's joking, we just hit them right back. I don't, I don't, I've never had that situation with my family. I don't think that's though. what this means. Unsolicited passive yeah, aggressive saying, opinions like, or questions. Like someone telling you how to yeah. raise your child or well, like. Well, I've never had that you, with anybody, but you know, just. I'm going to say, yeah. Passive aggressive family. You members. have issues with family. You have issues. I think with a lot of times, like, it's about boundaries. And sometimes if you know that someone does offer you a lot of things that like pick at you or they needle you with advice, I would say yeah. not just like, oh, don't talk to that person. But I would say kind of make a little bit of a. You got to kind of have a boundary, you know what I mean? And a boundary doesn't have to be like, don't talk to me that way. Don't do this. It's just I'm, how you interact with them. You could just yeah. spread it out and be like, we're creating some distance and don't ask them about that. And if they do offer you advice, just be like, I'm good. That's Thanks. What I was gonna say. I'm very non-confrontational. And I feel so like I'll just take, I will just listen to someone talk just nonsense and just be like, yeah, okay, cool. And <laughs> just go that. about my business. I Sheesh. hate that. <laughs> that to... is one thing that really bothers me sometimes yeah. about Brad is that like, I think people don't offer us a lot of unsolicited advice because they know that we just are like in our own world. We're not going to take but it. You got to say something though. If it's wasting my time. I have no <laughs> patience. Have to say There's something. someone that we work with sometimes uh. that we do these meetings and I feel like it's, it's a waste of time, Brad. You know, they'll say, well, we need to have this meeting that's this long or whatever. Let's Zoom. And I'm like, and okay, they, they yeah, always oh, yeah. communicate with Brad. So I'm like, send them an email back. But you got to give them to talk to both of us. So I always tell Brad, send them an email back and say, okay, cool. Can you tell me what the agenda is? What time? How long is this going to take? Because there's times when we get on Zoom with this person and it's a bunch of stuff we're not interested in. Always. They're hitting us with things that, we, that is not but what they roped us into. Yeah. And it goes on for an hour and a half. That's like a business thing, and I guess I don't know. I and so, to, and I just tell Brian. I just understand that though. Tell them not into it ahead of time. But you got to let them feel, at least get their point across. That's like, well, how do we even get to that? I don't know. Oh, you saying like you just kind of listen? Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like my time. Passive aggressive said. stuff. I just doesn't bother Here's me. Why. I just yeah. If, just if let someone it. like a mother-in-law, a mother, a friend, yeah. a sister, a, I don't even know anybody in your life, a dad, a mom, whoever, yeah, anybody is offering you stuff that you don't want to hear. Um, I think at some point, rather than just listening to it, you have to at some point just say, if it keeps going. I'm good, thanks. If it keeps going and it's a consistent thing, yeah. But if it's every now and then they're just kind of barbing you, eh, who cares? Even like on, just, on online too, like people oh, that's, saying that's, all the time. It's just at some point when you just never respond yeah. and people realize like, that's not what she's here for. She doesn't yeah. care what I'm saying about what that's her kids are. Yeah. It's just whatever. Okay. Same. Yeah, exactly. Good. All right. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Okay. How do you deal with the oh, okay, here we go. How do you deal with the pressure of social media? Example, these days influencers have clicks. Does it make you feel any type of way? This was Oh, clicks like never clicks once. Like, yeah. I've never mm -hmm. once in like 15 years ever thought about clicks on social media. It took but ever. you've been doing it for so long. It was well, like, kind of an evolution of the way you treated it cuz at first it it's crazy. Social media and the stuff that with clicks? Know, about, yeah, and like just Never. Groups no, and, I don't and, think that was crazy businesses. at all. Businesses trying to back well, everybody else is with us. You know what I mean? Well, that's like a business thing. Yeah, that's, that's a click. Businesses. Hmm. You know, a group of people that are all joining this specific thing or this specific and thing. And you can kind of tell like who people but, are friends with and like even who I'm friends with, but my friendships don't have anything to do with like my content or what they're doing. I would never, I don't like collaborate with people because those are true friendships. It's not like, oh, let's yeah. collaborate for a video. I don't even know if I would feel right about that. I've never like, done that. Well, maybe once friend. or twice. Like, I don't want to. Okay, never. Friends, yeah. Okay, let's ask them some more. <laughs> so, um, 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 okay. The Instagram? Yeah. Okay. There's probably some more on there. I just, I can't There's scroll. There's a lot of content. Yeah, um, yeah. your favorite ride at Disney Epcot. <laughs> I think Star Wars, right? Yeah, we like Everybody the Star knows, Wars, yeah. And I just like I, the, we didn't ride them, but we were there when they opened up the new Marvel and we haven't ridden it yet. Everybody tells me that the um, Avatar ride's good, but we don't like we Animal We don't Kingdom. like Animal Kingdom. <laughs> so we you don't guys know that. that if you listen to the podcast, Animal but, Kingdom um, is like the pits. Um, I like them all. I, we get the quote. We talk about it all the time. We like it all. I like all the you nostalgic, know. like Disney rides. stuff that we've been riding. Yeah, since we were kids. Like the little one, like Peter Pan yeah. and Dumbo and all that. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, it's all fun. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll be going back, even though we say we won't for a while. That was a real. Not even just that we got sick, but like I'm just. In a, <clears throat> I mean, we talked about this this week on the podcast. I'm just in a different place. Like, yeah. I don't want to go on a trip. It's kind of a where decent it's, it's, drive it's, it's, for us too. It's too many people and. The thing is, with the drive, yeah. it's the same exact amount of time if we were to go to the airport, spend 40 minutes, an hour getting to the airport, got to get there a couple yeah. hours early, got to get on the plane, about an hour and a half. You, you might save get yourself off. an hour, hour, hour and a half, two hours yeah, maybe. It's so it's, I don't, I, it's just, it's I not, 
it's not the vibe. I just don't <laughs> want to be. It's just it's too many people. I look at all the things on yeah. Instagram even, and I'm like, why? What? what it we is thinking? crazy now. It's what nuts. were we thinking? Like, how was that ever enjoyable? Um. Uh, I want to get that one. This whole thing about like, okay, that last photo that I posted where I was in that well, not last photo, but where I was in that like red jumpsuit. I got so many like trolly awful <laughs> comments of people saying, you know for an older woman like yourself, it really ages you when you take on a dramatic weight loss. You look old. I don't know if people or understand. Or it'll be like, ick, you but look unhealthy. And then I'll go to your profile to literally block you because I don't have time for that. And like I said, I'm not someone that like really wants to like grow my audience or my numbers. I'm whittling it down, baby. Like I don't want But you want also it. had COVID for three weeks. I did. and I Lost a little bit of weight. Like but maybe five know. pounds, not enough to change it. Junk I thought you great. Medium. But, you it, know. but also when I take photos in that angle, it does make you look a little thin. Yeah. Those are the same bitches that would be saying if I turned the other way or if I was backwards, oh, you look swollen, you're fat, you're pregnant, what's going on? You know what I mean? Uh. And as soon as I always go to these people's profile to literally block them because, again, I have no time for it. And <laughs> neither should you. If someone's coming, these people are always private. Jeez. They're always women that are like, one of them was like, I'm a woman's um doctor like i work in the imaging department i'm like you're a healthcare provider you work with women like mm, don't think your hospital would like that that you're like trolling another woman oh, but um yeah. okay go. i just like delete it all <laughs> but like i guess my point is it's always would you be comfortable now don't look at me saying oh you have a comment section we all have a mouth yeah. we all have a voice is that okay for you to go to the grocery store and tell someone like, you look like shit today. You've really gained some weight. Or you look unhealthy. You know, you'd be committed. You'd be arrested. Yeah. Arrested. Like, you can't yeah. do that. You know what I mean? And so... But, but it's a different world, you if know. All these people, when you go to their accounts, they're like a woman that says like, mother of daughters and sister in Christ. And I'm a female empowerment. I'm yeah, like, that is are weird. you? Yeah. No, you're not. But they're always private. You know why? Because you don't want unhinged weirdos like yourself coming to your page commenting on how your body looks. Let's stop. Oh. Okay, let's just stop. It's gross. <laughs> but I do, like some people said, oh, you look good. Or, oh my, not even you look good. But like, oh, I've noticed you lost some weight. Like, what's yeah. going on? That's fine. Okay? And it's I answered all those questions. It, you know. But come on. Like, let's not. Okay? It's gross. You look unhinged. It's not about me saying, please don't say that. It makes us feel bad. You know, well, I've never understood why anybody would say anything. Like that. Yeah, but I don't understand what the point is. It's more so really know why, when you say you know. stop doing that to tell you <clears throat> you look insane, and you'd be canceled in a heartbeat if you went to someone who was slightly overweight or obviously yeah. like heavy and saying like, "Oh, you We're look unhealthy." Yeah. You can't say that to anybody, and you can't say like, "I mean, People it's just do, gross." Yeah. Like what changed? Nothing. You're just being an a hole. Okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> um. All right. How are you similar and how are you different? <laughs> what? This one. That's what I said. That's, that's what that's I was that's addressing. Because yeah. comments on like, what's going on with your body? What's <laughs> going on with your body, Barb? Like, make your profile public, and we'll all come tell you how you know you look here and there. And I'm sure you'd be real happy. No, you wouldn't. Okay, <laughs> like just. Stop. I don't think anybody would, but I mean, you know, people just need to stop. People are just so dumb. Um, how are you similar and how are you different from each other? I think we have a pretty similar sense of humor, which is nice because yeah. we don't, we like the same stuff. I feel like we've grown more into our similarities. I feel like our differences Over the were years, more apparent when we first got together. I think that's everybody, really. It has to be. You grow to, you grow to like the same stuff as you, because we've been together for how long? 18 years? 18 years. So. We're coming up on our 15th wedding anniversary, but which. Like differences though. Differences. Oh, that ties into the next one. Yeah, differences. Um, what would you think? What would you say first? I'll I would respond. say used to. I'd say he's more... I think we're both introverts. But back then I would say, like, I liked going out more. Or he That's was definitely more reserved. True. And now it's like we're both kind of... We like to do what we like to do. And we're both... I feel like I you've kind like, of... I feel like you've kind of taken on some of my, like, you like doing more things. And I'm more, like, bit, maybe, comfortable. Yeah. I just but, don't like going out. I just don't like going out, period, really. I kind of think, I never though, really have. It's odd when, like, okay, like, he's 38, I'm 37. We've been together for 18 years. When you do get together when you're much younger. 39. You're, how old are you? 39. 39. Okay. I just, I've been 39 for a well, half a year. How old am I? 38. You're 38. Oh, I've been saying I'm 37. I said that on something the other day. Someone's probably like, she's lying about her age, trying to make herself look younger. No, if I were going to lie about my age, I would Trust just say Trust me, I'm Olivia, I'm, I've mentioned this Nobody on the podcast all the time, I got gray hair, right? And Olivia now... 
on a daily basis Everything. says, hey, you're almost 40. Got, yeah, he'll, he'll look at his beard and gray. So, yeah. hey, you're, you're almost, almost 40. 40. That's good. Okay, thanks. Ugh. Eight-year-old. That's good. Which I know for, it's not old. I'm not saying it no, is. I mean, I'm, I don't care either way. I'm not, you know, but I'm say saying it's like, funny. <laughs> all the things that we've kind of like, we've truly like kind of grown together. And there was a question that says, how do you keep the spark alive in your relationship? I think that's, a, that, well, that, I think it's easy. We dive into so many deep relationships. I think it's easy. And on the podcast. Because but. if you truly love each other, mm -hmm. then I understand stuff happens. And I'm not saying people that lose the spark don't love each other because all the external stuff that's happening. We have had many situations. Early in our relationship, we had moments where mm -hmm. we were very stressed about work. Sure. And yeah, times there, you know, when things happens. were like very like, mm, not bad. But I think it all. The dynamic was different. If you truly love being with each other. I think there'll be some ups and downs, obviously, obvious, but it always comes back up. We've never really felt the need to do anything to regain the spark. Like drastic, but there you have know. been moments of stress, years, 100%. Where it's like you, when you were yeah. working so much and, very, you know, very much, you could really kind of feel that. And But it comes back. It yeah. always comes back and after, after the events settle down or work settles down. And I'll say, like, you know. I feel like I... You always hear the same thing of prioritize a date night, right? Mm -hmm. You know, take some trips together, carve out time. Out at home, watch There's, a movie. You cannot. You th know. Those things are great to do. You have to, yeah, have a date night. Do something different every now and then. Mm -hmm. Drop your kids off, and, and but how often can you really do that? Maybe once a week if some you're can't lucky. Do it at all. We yeah, don't have child do care. We've never had anyone help so, us. Uh, and, you know, drop her off to grandparents or. You know, maybe spend the night once every few months and what, have like a night yeah. trip that's fine or a couple nights. Out of the house, really. I, like, again. But you cannot, you know. and that's what people always say, play in those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great to look forward to. But you can't rely on those moments that are so few and far between. You have to mm -hmm. really kind of like cultivate your daily. And I feel like good. for us, meeting in college, not having a ton of responsibility, just kind of doing that, mm -hmm. you know, living with our parents at the time. And then yep. to the pressure of, well, we got to save some money. We had nothing, you know, mm -hmm. we've got to start building something together. What's our future going to look like? Yep. Working so hard. And then having time where, whoa, like we can do anything we want without kids for what we were married or together for seven, yeah, long, eight, yeah. a long, long time while. without yeah, kids. A while. Doing everything we wanted to do and just having this. But then... It's cool. Being parents, yeah. having that pressure. Changes a lot, obviously. Getting older, you know, and it's like, I feel like we've gone through and navigated so many things, and I'm not saying that makes us experts or relationship anybody that she even take advice for from, but I do think, like, when you've been together for 18 years, mm. you've been married for 15 of those years, I do think, I do like to listen to people's perspectives. You know what Some I mean? Some can be different, yeah, but, our but piece, it works for us. But what you know. What, being married? No, just having the same, like, well, well, everything we just said. But, I know, and it matters. Like, find a good partner, do all that. Okay, I get it. All of that matters. There's so many different details. You know what? Being married for 18 years does help. <laughs> because you go with each other, you see? Right. So, I know yeah. that, and it does matter. You're, like, your partner matters, right? Yeah. So, you can't just give advice. It depends on who you're with. Also, like, like I said, like, cultivating the daily. Mm -hmm. You're with your kid all the time. Kids and sometimes change. I look at yeah. Brad at the end of the day and I'm like, have we even talked to each other tonight? Like, yeah. Talk to me. And you have to like have that time where you can't look at it as your day to day is mundane and you're working for yeah. those exciting moments. You got to create some exciting moments. Every like day. brush up against each other, you yeah. know, do a little grab, like do something exciting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have if, to, because, if, because otherwise that's, it's just too much, too few and far between. And then like when your kids go to bed, like. Of course, like do what you get. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying like you know, obviously know. Get, it, get it in whenever you can. But I'm not saying even about like sex or anything. I'm saying <laughs> at night, like have a routine where it's just you guys or you do something that you want to do. Watching the same three get movies together. <laughs> yeah, get together on like Every night. a fun movie or something and just talk to each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's good. Do a nice little massage. Anything. Fun. Anything. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like just I know that sounds so stupid. What was the question? How to get the spark. Oh, how do you get the spark back? Or how do you, how do we keep the spark? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Just okay. Do, here, okay. Just the big sweeping answer is like, don't rely on those little typical things. That's a good answer. Um, any tips on how to do Disney? No. We've had some on the podcast again. We've had so many. I'm done. I cannot talk about yeah, Disney, Disney anymore. She's, she's way I'm off. I'm Disneyed out. Okay. I'm so Disneyed out. 
people asking about babies. No, like, no. How old do you think I am? And I get people have kids well into their 40s, sure. no judgment. We don't have any I was going to say, yeah, next year I might want a baby. Probably not. No plans for that. I'm not I'm into it, you guys. It's not about kids or wanting more kids. It's just about happy in my life. Yeah. And if we wouldn't have had any kids at all, that would have been fine, too. Got friends that have no kids. It's fine. Or we've got friends that have and a I whole bunch of kids. It's just, it's just your own really, deal, you know? What's this weight? Why do you... What on earth, you guys? Next, guaranteed tomorrow, <laughs> someone will be saying, like, you're pregnant, aren't you? Congratulations. Thought you were looking fatter. Do you understand? Like, these people are so... Well, perspective of the camera changes to a lot of things. Oh, look. So Brad's whatever. awesome. That's so cute. Um, oh, cool. I appreciate people... it. <laughs> um, best marriage advice for a couple who are about to have a baby. Everything in your life... Is about to go from revolving around 100% around you two to 100% around the baby, which is not a bad thing. Again, you'll fall back into your schedule of the spark. It'll get easier but and easier as the kid gets older. My mindset, I everybody, everything's true. What everybody tells you, time flies. It's, you know, you wake up in the baby. It's true. I never was like, yeah, whatever. You should, but it's true. It's going to be eight and I can't believe and it. I, um, but my, your mindset changes. Mm-hmm. Everything becomes about the kid. Everything. As it should and as it has yeah. to. But it's, but it's all good. Your mind, your whole, I feel like I was rewired to just everything I do is for her now. Mm -hmm. Which is good. You know. So, I mean, it, it, be ready for some change, but it's all good. It's, it's, I, it's all good, just good stuff. I think, too, it's, it's a different dynamic when you are someone that gets, you know, most people, they, they date not even a super long time, maybe a year, a couple years, I don't even know, get married and then instantly start having kids. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, we were together longer without kids mm -hmm. than we have been with. And so it was like, yeah, we're ready. I mean, not ready. It wasn't like a surprise. I don't think you can ever, if it's your first. You'll never be ready. Because we, we no. okay, had all that time to think <laughs> about it, to plan, oh, is this the right time? It's not going to be the right time. Okay, you no. just do it. Um, but then like, you know, buy all the things on YouTube, you know, I'm doing these videos every week, getting so much advice from people, buying all the things, mm -hmm. came home so flippin' unprepared, could not even begin yeah. to tell you. <laughs> and you just have to, you just as have to learn as you as think you're going to be, all the advice you've received, you're not going to be prepared. But that's good because mm -hmm. you learn. It's a learn that you learn together. It's something that you'll cherish, you know, and it's something that you'll talk about forever. You know, the stories that are going to come from it. I would say in the beginning, if you can, utilize, like, someone that's going to help you, a mother-in-law, yeah, a mother, that is, that's, or yeah. someone that you could even hire to help you. I would say do that. We didn't do any of that. And didn't have anyone come to stay with us. And yeah. those were the most stressful, you know, and I think sometimes, like, we should have asked for help. There was Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that either. But being people at the time that both worked, had our own, from home. Yeah had our own businesses. It wasn't like we were going to a nine to five or like, I, in my right. mind, I thought, I can't justify asking for help because I work from home. You have yeah, to. And you, now I think totally to, you should take it different back, about sure. that. Yeah, so um, get as much help as you can. That'll help your marriage, you know what I mean? Because it'll take some stress off. But I would say don't focus on all the things, on all the this and the that. Talk before the baby comes. Like, what's our strategy here? Like, what about sleeping? Like, who's going to be waking up? Who's going to be, like, are you just someone that's not yeah. going to be willing to do anything waking up? Like, and I'm saying, not that that's good or bad, you just have to know what your partner is going to mm -hmm. do with, because everyone parents so differently. And but you, all the kids are different, too. Some kids sleep. And you don't want, night. yeah, uh, lucky, you know. lucky duckies. Yeah. Um, we you, got you ours. don't want to be figuring that out the first time. Olivia didn't sleep through the night for a while. It was but then hard. she <laughs> flipped a switch and started just sleeping as long as possible which because is great. I just like helped her all the time. yeah you did but, and I but, you, know, to do, you know but again like would it have been better if I would have like done like a sleep training and had someone professional come help me Who knows? now I'm like what that's the dream like yeah I would totally get any In retrospect help I could. it's always it's always um look back. but yeah I guess you're gonna have stress there's gonna be moments where you look at each other and you're like oh my gosh our life is not the same it's not okay all the stress worth it it's worth it and it gets better and in those moments where you feel down and dark and like oh what is my life there'll be moments that you feel 10 times better than that i'm and not it's worth i can't it all. sleep it's i'll never sleep the price again. of admission yeah, right the price of admission and, and it'll get better as they get older and you know what's so funny i always mm -hmm. say like it's always something 
you know, she'll, when she was a baby, it was like, I was worried about one thing. Well, then next day or next week, that's fine. And we're on to worrying about time. something else. There's always going to be something. So as I say, like, I as they get parents, older. One of them said, too. And it's like get, a parent. You worry about them. Like, they, they used to worry about me. I know. That's, and know, that's normal. And that's, that's how it is. I that's think how this is are. the thing, too. I would always instill, like, if something goes wrong or if I feel like she's struggling with something, I really take that personally. And, like, I think, what's going on? Like, is this a problem? And I get very within that. Mm -hmm. Brad's really kind of, I say, you you really do help me when you talk to me about a lot of things because he'll say, it's normal. It's what kids do. Yeah. Kids do weird shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's normal, you know? She's going to have kids, moments kids are kids. where she has terrible nights or where she just, and I get so like, you know what I mean? But, but I've gotten better with that because he helps me. And it with goes that. with, you know, we know what this should be. Well, you know what? We, we were all kids before. Yeah. So it's so like you come back, it's like, remember what you used to do as a kid? It's like, oh, wow, well, yeah, she's only this year. And whatever's going to make you feel comfortable, like whether you're the type of parent, which I thought I was going to be like this, that was like structured and bedtime. Yeah. And we have to sleep a certain way. No, I'll never let him sleep with me and all this or this or that. I ended up being the most opposite of that you mm -hmm. could have. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, let's see what she's telling me right now. Do I have to feed her every single I'll uh, just listen to her cues. You Changes, know what I mean? And it was yeah. fine. As you experience it is when the answers are going to come. You can't really prepare yourself for anything. So I, I say, That's kind of a weird thing to say. But but I guess I was going to say in, in saying that, like, I was going to say to maybe take some pressure off your marriage, take pre pressure off yourself. Don't put so, press so much pressure on yourself to mm -hmm. have such a structure. That worked for us, but then I was saying maybe some people might benefit more from a of structure. They would. So it's just yeah. figure out what's going to be best for but you. You're communicate. You're... You have to communicate before the baby comes. Mm -hmm. Here's what our days are going to look. What we and, and, and you're going to learn by experience. What we imagine them to look like. The experience is what's going to teach you everything. So, you'll, you'll you never know. know what the kid's going to do, but you'll know what you're both willing to do. The husband might say, "Well, I'll take the." I don't know. If, if sleeping to you is important, then you you know you go to sleep. I'll take the night shift, yeah. and then you wake up super early with the kid and have the kid during this part of the day, and then I'll sleep in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so whatever works. I don't know. It's just you just have to know because sometimes that is the tough part because you don't know what that kid's gonna do or what your baby's gonna be like. You have to know what each other or twins is willing to do. I don't know how far along. Did you along see? I was like, oh no. How far along are you? The no, surprise of twins. Sad. You know what? I used to be so like, oh, wouldn't that be fun? Just knock Twins. them all out. And I look at people that have multiples, and I'm like, a oh, bless. Like, yeah. oh, it was hard enough with one at the time. Yeah. Favorite vacay ever and why? Well, I mean, I don't know if I can pick just one. Because all of our vacations are great. Any vacation's good. Yeah. But, like, what's your... I like going... I, I it's, not, it's a general thing that we try to do every year. I like going to the beach with the house and the family. I'm the same. That's... It's such a laid back, non-structured, just we're here together, but we're going to do our own thing type of just, it's a week to do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Or even you like when we go relax, to the beach. You can just relax, sit on the couch. Just... You do whatever you want to do, go to the beach and just sit there for 10 hours. And you don't have to you plan know, there's anything. No, yeah, there's nothing planned. There's no structure to it. It's just, that's, that's the vacation for me. Let me tell you, I have really turned to, obviously like, Oh, we're, the, we're Disney people. We love Disney. And we, again, yeah. I've said this so many times. That's not really my ideal. Like, and, and I've been hassle. to Europe. I've been to the nicest places. Like, I, it's not like, oh, you've never been anywhere. Like, yeah. I've been to all these places. Like, mm -hmm. I've gone, We, Brad and I used to go, I mean, we've Whenever stayed at the nicest places and done the nicest things. Those things are great. Yeah. But, like, if I'm real, that's an excursion. And we're planning a Paris trip. We're planning things in the future. Like, yeah, I want to go do that. Is it's that almost, my idea of, oh, I'm going to really relax and unwind? No, that's an excursion. Yeah. Going to Europe. There's no relaxing, really. It's, I it's, mean, sure, like, yeah, you can do relaxing things, but that's a big deal. But you got, it's a structure. There's a structure with that. My favorite thing is just a quickaroo road trip to the beach. It's not far away. Staying at the places that we like. Yeah. And just chilling and zoning the F out. And we've said this too. Like, one thing that you do miss, though, on the beach house, and then when we go to the beach, is the is the catering aspect of like staying at a resort. It's almost like we need to it's find. It's not the, even about the house or where we stay at the beach. Yeah. I just like to go to the beach. That's give me true. a resort. Like yeah. I like to order. I like two drinks in my hand. I want like I want to be able to order food. Yeah. I like room service. I, yeah, room service. Uh, everybody who doesn't. I like a no. house, like when you're staying with friends or family. Yeah. But I'm a resort type of yeah. Like because the I house, like, you, the house, you gotta do it all, man. You gotta get, you gotta actually clean but up. But that's fun, yourself. like if we're staying with like a group. <laughs> you know. But I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. I, and you know, I we talked about this again this week. We were talking about like this whole year, and even before that, I feel like it's just one vacation to the next. Okay, well, we're back from this vacation. What's up next? Or we've 
gosh, like before we went on this trip, we had like three things, like almost back to back, you know, just all these different things, work things. Stay and home. I'm like, you relax. know what? Yeah, I want to really embrace this year as like, I'm not looking to like, oh my gosh, I'm going to plan this next trip. That's not ideal for me. I don't want to be going all over the place. I did that for years mm -hmm. before Olivia. Yeah. I would be like taking five, six, like back and forth, like work trips, flying to LA, going up yes. north, like, yes. you know, us flying, and then we'd go to Vegas all the time. We, you know, the New York, we did all these different yeah. things. And it was like every year, could not even count how many plane rides. And then of course, like big trips that were fun for us. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not what I'm really prioritizing now or what I even want to do. Like, I want to enjoy my home. I want to in the spring open up the pool and, and be just like do and do nothing. Well, just sit here and not worry yeah, about like plans. We're on vacation at home. And yeah. It's not about what your house looks like. It's not about what you have. It's about being content within your home and just like enjoying yourself. That's a good and idea. Not always good plan. Like, not always being like Great on plan. to the next, on to the next. Do you know what I mean? I um, agree. Yeah. How do you balance everything with work, podcasts, YouTube, parenting, homeschool, etc.? There's got to be some sort of structure with that. Um, we we have a structure, but it's a very loose. It's not a, so strict. We're not. And all the businesses we have re, are kind of intertwined, which is nice. There's no there's no separation. And of, we do things ourselves. We don't yeah, have some like so team that, to that manage. Works we good. have like you know like people like financial people that manage like certain things yeah. or you know different groups of people that do different. But I'm not micromanaging people. That's never been a dream of mine. Nothing sounds worse. Um, I am just focusing on what we're doing and we've created things that kind of not run themselves. We have to do, but, but with like your YouTube and the podcast, it's, it's just a structure just, of it's, day of the week. To me, it's like, I worked for years. Like this is nothing like it is on a different level and it's great. Yeah. And it, there's responsibility. And like when you own your own business, not just like YouTube's in my business, it's such a tiny part of things that run are running yeah. in the background that you don't know about or that you don't always see. Or like we took that and then invested in real estate or invested in like other things, not real estate, but just like all of our it's things. All gone. What is that Sold. called? Like what we do, like investing in like not stocks, but what is that called? The, that's all his, that's all. No, I know, but I'm just saying like that's a business in itself, not a business, but like that's a way that you're making like your business work for you. Do you know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? That's true. By having like people... I, okay, what am I trying to say? My thing is, is we like, have, I'm not, we're not clocking in every day, yeah. like, but for me, it is a structure because I am schooling my child, you know. But there's day. certain times, it, that's she the structure. She has her own activities and, yeah. and doing that. And then and it's the just, podcast is done on a certain time You just follow it and week. do it. Yeah, yeah, we're not just flying by the seat of our pants like, okay, I got to do a video a week. There's structure there, sure. You know, I film on Thursdays for Fridays, mm -hmm. you know, and I've done that for a long time. And he'll take her out for lunch and they have a nice time, yep. you know, while I do that. And I don't say, okay, this is my time to work. Should I? I don't know. I like to just, I have to do that during the day. But yeah. as far as like, I don't, I've always said I don't want to be just sitting on my computer or on my phone all day when I could be spending time with my child. I know that's not yeah. realistic for everybody. And maybe I should say, okay, I'm working now. But it's like, I can do that stuff. I'm just so quick with like editing yeah. and with being able to plan posts and stuff. Like I can so do that for like an there. hour at night after she goes yeah. to bed a couple of nights a week. And I, that's just a priority for me. And that's how I prioritize that. The school really, once you get in a groove of your curriculum oh, yeah. and stuff, you're not. And that was why one reason I didn't want to be a teacher when I went to school for for education was that like I didn't like all of that every single day of like it took over your life like mm. and again God bless teachers I know that's what you have to do but like I don't yeah. want to be planning every day and playing the game and all the school politics <laughs> and doing things more so to like impress people than like helping the kids the homeschool thing worked out it's worked the out homeschool nice. thing yeah was never something I intended to do we have a yeah. whole podcast on why we did that but like it worked out and sometimes the biggest things that you never would expect and that you could never plan for you the have to truly things. live in the moment yeah. and like that presented itself well that would be the best and it always felt right to me but I always felt like this isn't what I should be I don't know I just I thought I should just dump her off at a school you know let's take her and then I was like that's not what is, is right here um it's our third year doing it I found a curriculum that I love that makes it real nice too it's like planned out by like 
every week. Like I put in everything at the beginning of the year and it's just a little tear sheet that hangs on the thing. It's like this much, this much. I don't even have to look at it much most of the time because yeah. I just know how far to get through things. I know what we're doing. You know, we might do like an activity or go somewhere that has to do with something sometimes and it just plans itself so i'm not like i don't keep car doing that all the time. i mean it's pretty fluid our well schedule, that's how it should yeah. be like with, uh, yeah. oh, with the homeschooling thing with everything it kind of all works, I think most it people, works pretty good together but that's how it is like you yeah. get in your you get in your you're in right. groove, you get, get in your groove. groove and it just kind of all works out so you, when you're like how do you plan for all this stuff it's no different than like well if you're a teacher how do you do that you yeah. go to work when you got to go to work and i'm lucky i'm I won't say lucky like i feel blessed i feel happy that and i know it's a special thing and i don't take it for granted that we're able to like make our own decisions but at the right. same time we can't just be like well we just don't want to do this today well then something won't get done yeah. and then we won't be but it by just so by doing it so you just have to kind of like do what works for you and i don't know i think that's such a specific thing yeah um everyone i always feel uncomfortable even giving that type of advice because no one's life is like mine well, so my life will yeah. never be like you know everybody's structure is so different but my advice would be if you if you're not having the finding the time and you're not able to do something maybe you're trying to do too much and a lot of people don't have the choice i guess but a lot of people try to do way too much and you just gotta kind of you gotta I, gotta work yourself into doing that. If you want to do what you're doing, if you're doing too much, you got it's got to be a gradual thing. You can't do too much at one time. Once you get a set structure for one thing, you can start doing something else. As long as it works in your in your schedule. I think that's I like I know. It, I, I don't want to sound like we're like giving some groundbreaking advice. It's not groundbreaking. That's not. I I know. I'm saying you're right. That but was the question. <laughs> that's why I'm like cringing too, giving advice on this because we're not like who are we? But um, but as far as how we manage it, I just mm -hmm. feel like we do what we got to do. Like Rob was saying, like people kind of, I think we do kind of put too much on our plates. You see what people are doing on Instagram. Oh, mm -hmm. well, we gotta work harder. We gotta work harder. And we talked about this. I keep saying on the podcast, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, we <laughs> have pretty deep convos every week about like all kinds of stuff. And one of them, several times we've talked about this, but how the United States like differs from other countries. Mm -hmm. Like we're all like, like there's never a moment where it's like. Okay, well, if we sit back and relax, if we are just gonna sit at a cafe mm -hmm. and like have a drink and like watch the world go by, we have to have some excuse like, oh, but I deserve this. I worked yeah. so hard for this. And other countries are like, no, this is just what we do. Just you know? relax. And you it's have some, time to relax. Yeah. But you also have to look at our mentality, our um, how we like are always on whether it's Instagram, which Instagram and social media surely has like spiked this. Always. 100%. On yeah. to the next, on to the next. Oh, my house has to look like this. Have to have this, have to have yeah. that. Got to keep working, got to do more. Look at what this person's doing. Got to keep the grind. And that's like yeah. what Americans... But that's what it is, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm I'm more... Or you see people that have like, let's just say... I mean, you guys all know people like this. They have their own business. Let's say they mm -hmm. own a cupcake business. And rather than them showing their, their product, right. how great they're doing... It's more so like them doing a pep talk to themselves about the grind, the grind, the grind. I'm a girl boss. Look how hard I'm working. Look yeah. at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. And I'm thinking your audience does not give a, mm, you're doing that. Mm -hmm. It's like you're posting to appease your audience because you feel like you have to gain like validation yeah. by how much you're doing. And we have to stop. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. You don't owe anybody an explanation if you don't post for a couple of days. You yeah. don't owe anybody an explanation for how you're doing your business, mm -hmm. what type of a boss you are, how many deals you're closing, how you view how other people... So many people comment on, well, I don't understand, you know, why people do their business this way. Well, nobody's looking to but you for that's, that. That's, They're that's, seeing your cupcakes. That's Show fine. Show me your cupcakes. But that's fine to think that, but there's no reason to voice... Everybody but runs the everything voice, differently. Right, but the, that voice and that, um, I think, urge that we all have, I have, we all have that urge to be like, oh, we need to do more. Like, if the busier I am, the more sure, successful but, I am, and that's yeah. not the case. Like, no. to me, I feel like my goal is to, like, I want to be able to just do nothing if I want to. Well, that's, I want to relax. I think it's ever, that's, yeah, maybe. of course. Um, and there's no shame. But this thing, there, should be, self, there should be think, no shame in that. I think a little bit of human nature, though, in everybody is to just just constantly just be Not talking to Not in other countries. You. Yeah, but it's to, to, to like self-approval. Yeah, it's like... It's approval from other people for a lot of, 
I guess, people. But I. But I then don't... people here, I feel like our culture is kind of very much like their approval is based on how many businesses you have. You know, oh, I'm grinding yeah. this, I'm doing that. Look at this house I'm building, and this and that, and the next, the next. Oh, two years, I'm going to build an even better house, and look at this, look at that. And it's just like, I was, my my whole. It's too um, much. If you're sleeping more than three hours, you're not working enough. Those guys that act like hey, if you're not I'm sleeping sleep, two hours, if that's, that's your all I need. You're failing. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> if you if you can't if you are a quote successful person, and you're gonna like preach on how successful you are, but yeah. you can't sleep more than three hours a night, you're not too killing busy. it. You're not killing it. Too busy. I need like, that time. I need not. that time to make moves. No. You know. No, that's the problem. There. I think a lot of it's just nonsense, and too. And we all feel like there's not enough hours in the day. Sure. And I think people say, oh, it's easier said than done. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, that's We live within of... our means. Like, we're very content. I'm not always, like, on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. Do you know what I'm saying? And everyone, it doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter what you do. Everyone can live that way and have that mentality. And it's not perfect for us. We fall into stress. We fall... I'm just saying, in an ideal situation, and this is what we try to do, like, live in your moment. You know what I'm saying? What was the question? <laughs> how do you how do you manage the things that you do? How do you manage the yeah. things that you do? I don't know. We're doing the best that we can. And constantly editing. If you feel like it's too much, pull back. Yeah. And if you feel like something's overwhelming, there's times when I turn down, like, sure. I've had too many collaborations or I've had too many things, and sometimes I'll just have to say, I can't do this. It's too much. And you might say, well, how many days you got? You could do it's too much. You can't do all that all the time. It's yeah. too much. And sometimes it's like the money isn't worth what I'm going to have the time yeah. and the stress and I 100%. know how much I can manage, and I'm okay sure. with that. You know what I'm saying? And also, like, make some lists. For me, I have to see oh, things. Oh, she's big lists and I, calendars. And, and, and I have to see things. You know what I'm saying? That makes... Like we if, if I think something, I have to yeah. get it out of my mind and put it down, schedule in, this is the day I'm going to do that, and then live in the day that you're in. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the right way to do things. Don't look ahead too much. If you're Using scheduled... Using writing stuff down, that's beautiful. I don't do any of that. No. He's not so much of But I, I did when I was in certain businesses, and I um, got so just turned off of doing the right stuff, I guess you'd say. We talked about that you one time. turned off of doing calendars, the right stuff. Like calendars. Oh, like like using plan. calendars. Because my calendars were run by other people. Because I would just show up, and they would tell me you know, meetings and all this stuff. And I got so just burned out of seeing all this stuff on a calendar daily. When I left that industry, which we talked about... It, I stop using calendars. Now my calendar, me and Olivia are on the same iPad or iCloud, whatever it is. And so now when I look at my calendar, it's Olivia putting in stuff like make cookies with mommy, um, play, watch a movie with daddy. 6 p.m. And that's, that's, that's the stuff I like yeah. to see. I, you know, which I, which is great. And who but, wouldn't you know, want to see that stuff? And I'm saying, but I, just I, don't, yeah, she's, I used to get she very frustrated calendars. with Brad in the last several years. Like, Brad, make some notes. Make a calendar, like let's sync up our calendar, put something in calendar. Oh, God, like, sounds, that and now sounds I get like it, a nightmare. But I get it now because when you left that job, you're like, I don't have to do that. Everyone manages things yeah. differently, okay? Yeah. And again, some people can sleep and function on three hours at night and um yes. can't do it and never put <laughs> What's your favorite fast food order? Ooh, fast food. We have a whole podcast episode where we like literally blow through every like fast, fast food. food. Oh man, you gotta go with Chick-fil-A. Or Arby's. Mm-hmm. I don't have a favorite though. I don't. Know. I'm gonna tell you a restaurant. But you get Chick-fil-A the same things that you get yeah. all the time. Chicken, Chick Fil A. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Chick Fil A. I'm not gonna say the orders because I like she everything. She asked you for the order. I, don't, I can't say a one favorite. favorite order. Do you want me to give mine? Chicken sandwich. Just do a chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. That's, That's your need. favorite. Sure. Yeah, sure it is. Um, no, because, I'll tell you what it is. Every time you go to Chick Fil A, this is so obvious. You get the four cow strip yeah. meal with a large fry and a large diet coke, chicken and sandwich. then an extra chicken sandwich. That she eats. Okay, that's it. No, I, I ate it one time. I stole it because it, they put pickles on it, and he doesn't like the pickle residue. To me, nothing better. I want all those pickles. She makes these excuses. He got it. And he like, was like, I, I know you don't like this. I'm going to eat it for you. No, you can't you, go to waste. He literally said, "Ugh, pickle." They're, yeah. Okay, like, everybody's there with me. If you take pickles off, off of the sandwich, you still it still tastes like there's pickles on it. If you hate it. pickles, sure, but it's okay. I like it, so that's fine. I get you don't like it. That's fine. But you literally like, no, it's got the residue I don't on like it. So you put it back dip. in the fridge. We know that. So he almost died when the know. cheese dip went on the computer. I don't even understand. I would have just, I would have just ate the cheese dip off of the keys. Oh. Like, so he, 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 um, what was he saying? Oh, the, the, pickles. the pickles. So he put it back in the fridge. It was free. The next day, the next morning I see that and I'm thinking, he's not touching this. He doesn't even like leftovers. So I took a bite of it and then I kept looking at it throughout the day and ended up eating the whole damn thing. And sorry, 
And I went to eat it, it was gone. He didn't go to eat it. No, I yeah. went and ate it like two days ago, okay, whatever. My favorite. Sure, whatever. <laughs> my favorite is Taco Bell. Oh, Y'all yeah. know, the, the nachos bel grande, no beans, add lettuce. Yes. So good. And lately I've been adding guacamole. Which no their Mexican guacamole pizza is anymore. good. The Mexican pizza is fine, but it's just, it's not the same as the nachos. so much better. And then I like the, and then I also get, why are you shaking your head? Because you love that Mexican pizza. He's so picky with his food and I accept that, <laughs> but he makes fun of just the normal stuff that I eat all the time. Yeah. Someone said, what's your biggest ick? Brad, that's my ick. Stop making fun of my food. Make fun of your food. <laughs> We're going to get into it. We all like Chick-fil-A. That's not my favorite. Um, <laughs> no, well, I used to work for Chick-fil-A and that's fine. I did too. Just, How it's about? It's not my, it's not my vibe. For six um, hours. <laughs> We know, we, we know, okay. Um, what, the, okay, the rest of my order, so the, 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 I get like those nachos, and then I also Mountain get- Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The Diet Baja, Baja. Diet Baja Blast. Diet Baja that Blast. That is like, the Baja Blast is like the fine wine of Taco Bell. Yeah. It just makes everything taste better, just brings out those flavors. Uh, and then you also have to get a Chipotle Ranch Grilled Chicken Burrito. Sounds gross, but it's really good. And honestly, and? honestly, at Taco Bell, Pull it up to a taco. Like, that's my order, okay? And tons of mild sauce. But you get to a point where, like, okay, same with Starbucks. I don't have the same order all the time. I pull up to a Starbucks menu, and I don't know what the heck's going to come out of my mouth. I just look, and I'm oh, like, that's, lost. That's a, uh, taco Bell's kind of the same. Like, I don't know always what's going to come out of my mouth. Like, it could be my same order, or I could order $20 worth of just random stuff. I just want a bite of each thing. And like, she nothing's goes every better. time she goes to the drive thru. We're going to be in line for 10, 15 minutes. What do you want? I don't know. I have to look at the menu. The menu hasn't changed in 30 Most years. Most people are like that. I don't think so. But I want it to speak to me. What so. if there's like a new item? What if I see that photo of like uh, something different or a Big Mac and I'm like, that's really tickling me today? But you, but you could. <laughs> I never know what I'm going to want. Uh, okay. What do you think my favorite fast food order is? Since you weren't satisfied with my Taco Bell. Something from Chick-fil-A. I like everything from Chick-fil-A. I don't have a French good order from, from Arby's. Chick -fil -A. I do love a French dip from Arby's. Mm -hmm. Nothing better. Two more. Will you guys ever build a forever home or do you plan on staying where you are? I don't think we'll ever. I mean, especially in this this day and age, the market is ridiculous. But we we try, we played around with building but and it, we have a podcast episode where we discuss every little like yeah, but it blimp at the map and like when we bought the land that we were gonna. It turned out to be a um, just nonsense financially, and when we were really looking you know. at it, and I think what it is is if we would have spent a lot, a lot on this home, and we were like, let's just get, we're sitting so good here, especially yep. now. Y'all know how the market's changed. How we've been here for ten years. This was, I always say, probably the cheapest anyone's ever spent on a house in this neighborhood and now it's like whoa we could move and really be like yes we've also made we it sold ours. our we sold our last house which was a rental and really made a huge profit on that and yeah. you know what we did we didn't take that money and sell this one and then have some huge thing to say oh let's go put a huge chunk down on this big crazy for me like this house is my dream like we, i am not always is. on to the next like i need this because to me this is amazing. I, I'm not a jaded person that thinks everyone's house looks like some crazy, like, big monstrosity like you see. This, to me, is like most people, this is a dream home. But you, what you, and I love it. And I've never jaded on this isn't good enough or I need something bigger and better. Because we've, I'm, we've changed it all. For me, you know, but, so and, and is, I know I, that we yeah. can, and I know that financially, it's much better for me to live somewhere where I'm comfortable and know that I can do things that I want. I can, rather than, yeah, sure, getting something you could afford, but being mm. stretched every month, you know, and I'm not stretched, but like if the slightest thing changed, your lifestyle's going to change. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? And for me, my goal is not, and of course, you'll know, like, I love homes. I love, at some point. Maybe. Who we all, knows? We, and we always say, like, then, never you know, say never. But, like, but, sure, we might do something different one day. Yeah. But that's not... I don't live in a place of, like, I always just want something better, better, Thinking better. Thinking about more. Because yeah. my dream and my goal is not this crazy house. I feel like I've got everything I want and need well, yeah, and we, more. yeah, we put it in here, yeah. It's beautiful. Sure. But at the same time, sure, there are other things I would love to change. Sure. Okay? Things that I can't change about, like, maybe... That's I don't everywhere. know. Sure. You say the same but thing about the house but, you but, built. But how unrealistic. Like, I don't want to just be, oh, I deserve this. I have to have this bigger, better, whatever thing. I always try to live in a place of, like, I really 
love and appreciate where I am. Um, but my goal is like when we did sell that, when we do think about what we have in this home and things that we own and like, I like knowing that that money was invested somewhere or yeah. that it was saved or that we can have security. That to me is worth more than living somewhere like super like, da -da -da, gotta have a new house yeah. to show on Instagram for content. We, we've done it. I mean, we, gotta we, have the best of this or that. I feel like we do, but most people, I don't want to say most people, but a lot of people would be like, oh, I can afford this, so I got to do it. And I think yeah. I think We've that's a dangerous I mean, place you know. to be, and I think most people, most of us, because we fall into that all the time. Yeah. We've, we've, but we've thought about doing another, you know, we've, we've bounced the thought around of, oh, hey, maybe we might, you know, move here. But then it always, once we think about it for a couple of days or once we actually go and see what's available or whatever, we always fall back on how we miss this place too much or, or we, we just really love this place. So I don't think we, if, what the question was, are we going to build a dream? I don't think. Or as is of right this now, our forever home? I, I could so, never, yeah. but. But I can't, but no, like, here's what, I don't like saying that either. Why would you ever say but, anywhere I mean, is your forever home? From right now. Where do you know where you're going to, no, that's, that's say, true. But what I mean, I'm that's saying true. is, in the moment, yeah. I always, even in our last home, I would have never enjoyed it if I would have thought, well, we got to move in five years, or we're going to move because it's not yeah, good. exactly. Enough. I like to be where I am in the moment. Yeah. This is my home now, and I'd be happy to be here forever. For, yeah, right now. But I can't yeah. say this is my forever home because I don't know. <laughs> But I'd oh, be so sure. happy if it was. Do you know what I'm saying? That's a good answer. But we're not like, but we're not like, oh, we've got to build something or we've got to yeah. like make something better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, no. I'm content. Like I try to not like always be like after the, and I, and I think though, I am kind of like a creative person. I am, I'm always changing things. Around. I really feel sure. like though in the last several years, the house hasn't changed that much. Well, there's nothing that I've much added to like change. nice things, like I've yeah, but I mean, layered really... in good things, and I feel like it's like at a good, at a good. Oh, it point. is a hundred percent. It is, but there's and not really much like we can't really change at this point. Kind of like, you know, not a relief. Yeah, but like, not. I mean, there's certain things I'd like to do, like in certain rooms or yeah, little, kitchen yeah. stuff. But we, but knowing that you could always do that, is nicer than being stuck and like not stuck, but yeah, like stretching your budget and being like in the biggest fan, like craziest, like most like. Instagrammy kitchen, like, and showy looking place, and everything looks just so, but you're stretched or you aren't like, yes, yeah. comfortable in other ways. I would just, I don't know. I, I, I like that I mentality of not everything has to be perfect, and just enjoy and appreciate where you are. And then but I never don't say never. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So we're getting pretty long. I was literally saying I think we've talked enough, and the battery was like exhausted. Yeah. Um. But I. Okay. Well, I just hope that people got something good out of this, right? A little bit. Sure. So you guys, I never want to come across on here like we're like you know experts or anything that we ever do here. I never want to sound like we're. Oh, this is the right thing to do. Look how great we are. Like, we're so smart. It's just our experience. No, it's That's our all. experience, but I want to give you guys things that make you feel good. I want you to feel good about your house. I want you to feel good about knowing, like, you know, Any situation. your relationship and things. I want all these yeah. answers to be positive, truthful, but, like, positive and uplifting. Yeah. I like to hear things like that. I, I like to listen to positive things. I just... I just hope that that um, made you feel good. Yeah. Even if so. we did bitch a little bit about, like, trolls well, and yeah. bad comments. But I mean, you got to. You got to admit, you know, you got to say something about somebody. <laughs> but you guys, thank you for being here. We enjoyed it. I, I, I just, I loved Brad's face back on the Well, again, back on the camera. like I said before, I'm here to support her. And, you know, I'm a lot of people think you. that I might not. I don't know if I'm going to think I talk enough. But this is me. You know, if so. you don't think he talks enough, get him on the podcast. Well, uh, podcast. Yeah. And again, but, people ask these questions. You can tell like they're tiptoeing into like, oh, tell me about your ring. <laughs> tell me about your investments. Do you guys own other property? Yeah. And what does Brad do? Tell me about this and that. And it's like, I can tell it's, it's a personal question, but you'd be surprised all the things that we talked about on the podcast. Not to say okay, podcast, so podcast, many. podcast, but if you're a person that's asking those questions, I think you would, um, it would it. knock your socks off. I hope so, you know. <laughs> the amount of, like, questions that we delve into there. Maybe things that you'd hopefully be interested in. So, um, it's more, a very a different vibe. Story. It's a different vibe than this, okay? Yeah. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yes. And we will, she will, of course, talk to you soon. I hope maybe I will too. I don't well, know. you'll see us every we'll Wednesday. You'll it out. hear us every Wednesday on the podcast. We'll but see you on thanks, Wednesday. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye, you guys. Bye.